Hey guys, this is it. Mr. Light is here with the finale of Cool Delka. Right, let's go to the right. Now if we proceed a bit more. Yes. Oh dear. Elaine's body. Oh yeah, by the way, that's the that's the pendant that called Elka had. You have to have had it to finish the game. That is Elaine's cold-hearted body. And we need to take it down. Once and for all. Get ready, guys. This is it. This is going to be pretty tough. Let's run! The target, the top of this tower. This is where we got to go for this. All the way up here. There are a few fights against the lane at this point. And listen to this music. I have to admit, this is pretty cool music. Now at this point, she's actually... Um... Uh, annoying. Because she's actually immune to two elements and can take damage from two elements. At this point, it's Flare and Tornado. So I'm going to use Flare because it's my most effective spell. Oh yeah, that move. That literally can do that. It is an all out attacking technique. It's flipping annoying. Ah uh, yeah, they can poison. Yeah, I guess you can figure that one out. Hey, anyway, let's get you up there. Let's cast Reflect on Cool Elka. Oh, and for the record, there's no EXP in these fights. You've got to go through these fights without the help of healing after leveling up. Okay. That's the first bit of damage done. Satisfying, I guess. Let's go up again. Lay the smack down! What? What the? Uh -huh. Apparently physical attacks won't work on her now. So we're going to have to rely on Cordelka and her magic. Oh, hang on. No, is he equipped with an Earth Axe or an Air? I, he might be equipped with... No, it's an Air Axe. What about the Earth Axe then? Use Flare again, Cool Delka. Okay, does this go work? Okay, apparently this boss is immune to physicals. Oh, my flip, this is gonna be a heck of a finale to take her down. Whoa! 
Okay. Uh. Oh man, I didn't count it doing that much damage. All right. Uh, let's go reflect on Edwards. And she's getting the first attack, but Cordelka's got reflect. Take that! That's a flip ton of damage on there. You're going down, girl. Defend. Right. It's gonna be a big one. It's gonna be tough. Wait your turn. Okay, seriously, use a high potion on yourself. Just to make sure you're safe, because this is getting ridiculous. Yes, and apparently this is going to be annoying. Because Elaine is immune to physical attacks. What? Wow, she's going wild over there. Must mean she's low on health. At least I think she is. Okay. Seriously? James, just do it. Do something you so something you haven't done in pretty much my loads of time playing this. Wow! You know, for a guy who only had level 1, that was actually a lot of damage for a level 1 spell. I'm honestly surprised that you did that. Alright, we've done that. Now let's proceed. Yep, she caught up with us for the second time. And guess what? Luckily for us, there are only two times she catches up with us. That means that battle after this is the final boss. And let me tell you, the final boss makes absolutely no sense. You understand what I mean when we get to her? Uh oh. Here comes the spell of doom! Thank you, magic resistance! Okay, wait your turn. Now this should do a major ton of damage. Huh. Yeah, to be honest, I'm not all surprised because he's not really as strong as Cordelka. But he was my support. Okay, I'll admit it, this one is stronger with magic resistance. But she may be weaker to physical this time round. Let's say we give it a go. You got the Earth Axe equipped. Uh, there again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, forget that. Let's just use magic. Wow, I've got high agility, haven't I? We're almost there. We can get rid of her for good. Megalith level 3. Back again. I 
I thought you'd do that. Mega lift! Oh, she's still got quite a bit of health left. I'd um, high potion on you. Get your flipping health back. Lovely. Very good. Oh, here it comes again. Where only Edward takes damage. Although I admit quite a lot of damage. Now, you know what? Let's get you to heal Edward. Ah, oh, nice going triple hit combo. Let's restore Edward's energy. In a way, I'm glad that you can heal him so much. Because he's got more health than the others. Megalith again. Keep attacking, Edward! Okay, only two that time, but no biggie. Mega lift! Okay. Use Megalith again. You keep attacking. Just do what you do. Right, she's going to cast a spell again. I honestly think that all out attacking spells, the only spell she knows. Pretty sure it is. Yep, here we go again. Yep, I figured that would happen. Oh, she's weakened. We've got her on the run. Come on, we can win this. Mega left. Attack again, Edward. Mega left again. Can this finish her off? Hopefully the next attack by James will. Okay, she's actually got more health than I bargained. <laughs> I got I'm gonna be amazed if Edward can finish her off. No, I thought he wouldn't. Oh, you're trying to get away from me, are you? Not for long. Oh, she's still standing. Megalith. Megalith again. 
try all you want, you're not gonna win with that move. Heck, it only damages my back two by zero. As in, it doesn't hurt them at all. Due to their magic resistance. Mega lift! There we go! Boss beaten! And now guys, we are on the final battle of the game. And I'm going to tell you right here and now, this final boss is very bizarre thing design for it. I don't mean the boss's um, design for the way it looks. I mean for the way you finish the game. Uh oh. Oh, my flipper lane is mutating. This is it. The final battle against a flipping giant Elaine Spider. Yep. And the monastery is going down. Way down. Oh, listen to this. This is really good music. Now, uh, let me explain this. You don't have to kill this boss to beat the game. In fact, to get the best ending, I'll show you what you do. You actually have to lose to her in order to beat the in to get the best ending. Yes, for some bizarre reason, the designers thought, "Let's give this, let's make this final boss something to remember by having you lose to it." Yep, did you see that damage it just did to Cool Delka? For some reason it thinks it can cast a spell on James that won't do much. Yeah. You need to do better than that. And here's the ending. Literally. Dear God, is this my fault? Do you blame me? Are you punishing me now because the path to my faith was tainted? I accept my fate. If it is your wish, then I accept my fate. He who has an ear, let him hear. If anyone is to go into captivity, into captivity he will go. If anyone is to be killed with a sword, with the sword he will be killed. I am what I am. I am content with my lot. I have always loved Huey Lane. What the heck? What the heck is happening now? Let's go home, James. Let's go home. I have such fond memories of those days. Yep. 
believe it or not, this is the best way to end the game. By losing. Don't be silly. There must be something we can do. We'll be fine. Trust me. Cordelgas never trusted you from the beginning. In these crazy times, young people push themselves too much. Ah, the sun came out. I prefer it a little hazier, though. Goodbye. We'll probably never see each other again. Hey, your nickname. Slato? What does it mean? I haven't even asked you yet. Will you tell me? It... It means... Treasure. Oh, that's rich. I'll remember that. Treasure. It's okay, child, for you not to follow him. Yeah, it's okay. I have a feeling that someday, somewhere, we'll meet again. And there you go, guys! That is literally the end of Cool Delka. So guys, that's my let's play of Cool Delka. Heck, that was a long time coming due to having to restart the game. But I'm more than happy it's done. Okay, let me go over. Let me just... Yeah. See if the credits are good. Oh no, it's just the beginning again. Let me go over why... I think this game is good and bad at the same time. Basically, the good. I love the atmosphere of the monastery. I love all the different monsters they got, even if some of them are just different coloured versions of previous enemies. I love the um, battle mechanics. I thought the chessboard battle system was pretty good. And I do like um, the Adam, the FMV cutscenes. They're all pretty well designed. Sadly, the ba the damage is really inconsistent. I mean, you've really got to rely on magic in this game. Physical is hardly any use at all. The story is very complicated. It goes all over the place. In three. What is the biggest drawback to this game? The characters, all three of them, are completely unlikable. I really don't like any of the main characters. They're all really annoying. If it wasn't for the fact I like the gameplay, I wouldn't have played this game, but I do like the gameplay, even if the characters, I want to really batter them. But heck, we finished the game, so I'm more than happy with that. I'm sorry about the whole issue with I haven't got the boss battle with the gargoyle. I'm going to work on that and another time. I'll, I'll make that a separate video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. I'm so sorry that it took so long as I had to restart the whole game. But there we go. I've done it. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll see you guys another time. Farewell.